Hi everyone and welcome to the third video of this series. In this video we are going to learn how to make the type 3 of wire netting using geometry nodes. So let's get started. We are in Blender version 3.3.0 and we can start using this plus button, general and geometry nodes. Shift A to add the mesh. The concept of this video is this. We have to create uh, a several spiral that follow each other in a vertical direction and in a horizontal direction and cross all these four spirals without collision. So press the new button, create the first spiral. We need to have the same value for the radius so we can export one of these two values and rename it in a radius from 0.002 mean 0 to 1 for example shift drag and use for the end set 10 rotation and 1 meter to a default uh, number 1 and we have 1 meter in height and this is the radius in and out so the start and the end radius so we have to decrease a little bit 0 0.1 for now is a good result so we need to have couple of spiral in vertical okay follow each other in a vertical direction and in our horizontal direction so we have to transform this shape alt drag with a rotation of 180 degrees and join shift control drag them together so this is the result they will never touch themselves now that we have these we can export the height from 0 default 0 save the project now we need to normalize or to have a balance between the rotation and the height of these spirals to let us increase the height but having the same proportion value of the rotation we don't want this shrinking behavior so I set this to 1 now I have 10 rotation with one of height so I can use the rotation as the default number multiplied by height to have the correct number of rotation if I use this height value multiply by 10 I get this number of rotation if I set 2 meters I have the same frequency of the spiral increasing the rotation so I can increase or decrease the height of my entire spiral now this linear increasing sucks so I decided to snap this increasing by a little value what value? so I set 1 to the height because we will have the horizontal couple of spiral in this point and this point you can see this distance is 0 0.05 meter so we can use this height snap it by a 0 0.05 value and multiply by 10 to have the correct rotations and have the correct height so now if I decrease the height I will have snap it value of 0 0.05 now we have to duplicate this entire node to have the same behavior for the spirals that will be in this direction so I need to duplicate the entire shift D nodes link the same radius value here and use another value as the width from 0 to some values so if you want to maintain the measure unit you have to disconnect this value, delete the parameter, delete this link and use an attribute that has the measure unit so you will see outside the geometry nodes. I know this way but I don't know if there is another way to have the same result. Now I can link the height in the snap node, the value out in the height of this spiral and rename this in with from 0 now the radius is too big so we can decrease these a little bit next we will use the same value for the curve profile of these spirals now we need to rotate this second couple of spiral in y direction so we can have these this is the first 
this is the second. We can set the default number of height and width. And now we need to instance these spirals on lines, one vertical line and one horizontal line. So we can use curve line. We can use the same shift D group input to manipulate other parameters or the same parameters that we have in the graph. We can use the same method as before. So we can use the snap value with the width. Use the combine XYZ because we have a vector here. So we can set these and link to the X axis. We have this curve line that increase with a step increment. Now we can instance on point this spiral to this curve, but we need to resample this curve. We only have two points, so we can resample the curve. How many count we want? Let's speak the length language. So we can use the same increment value 0.05 to have an initial default value. This is the result. The same with the other curve. Shift D, click, but we need to use not the width, but the height value. And not for the X axis, but the Z axis. So we have to instance horizontally the spirals along a vertical line with vertical points. So we can use this instance on point duplicated we can link these and link the rotated second couple of the spirals and shift alt and click this is the horizontal result the shift control and drag this to know the to have the union of these spirals now we can use the curve to mesh node and use a, a circle curve to make the profile fill caps and here we can use the radius that we have in the group input so we can f3 group input we can link the radius here then we can set material you can add a material a metal material set roughness to 005 and metal to 1 and select this as the material so this is the initial part but decrease a little bit the radius so i can set 0.003 for example and now you can see a bad result here because we need to adjust what these start and end radius i need to multiply the radius for a number to avoid the collision of these spirals so i used my eyes to set this value properly so i use a map range to do this delete this multiply and using this map range so 0.003 to 0.006 to 2.81 and 2.04 i have to multiply the original radius by this number to get the correct range turn off this clamping value so you can use values over this interval and get the proportional over values of the output of the two range so if i increase a little bit the radius you have no collision in this geometry so now i set two zoom out we can try to decrease the height okay it's correct the width it's correct but another thing we need to have a parameter that will let us to have one hole or one hole bigger or one hole bigger and so on so to make these we have to decrease the number of these counts or increase the length of this space to get fewer points in this line and in this line not linearly but with a step of this minimum length so the minimum length we chose is 0.05 so we need an additional parameter whole level for example from 0 to 100 it's an integer number not a float number so we have to use this whole level multiplied the increment that we have here 
so I can use a math operation with a multiplied value of copy and paste this minimum value, the whole level, and use this for the snapping of the x axis in this combined XYZ. So if I select the default 1 and 1, it's obvious, 1, I have this result. If I set 2, you can't see anything because you have to link the same values here in the length of resample curve. And now you can see if I increase these, I have this result, a snapping shifting of these spiral instances with a multiplication of this minimum value by the whole level. The same here, so we have to multiply the whole level and use it as the snap node and link the same result in the length of this curve. So if I increase now, I have this behavior. There's another thing to say for this uh, tutorial and it is this. If you decrease the height of this net, you can see that we have the snapping increment vertically but if I increase the whole level and if I increment this, I have a snapping of half of the entire whole length. So we need to adjust this step so the height of the spiral, the original spiral, vertical and horizontal, to have the same step of the points on the linear curves. So to do this, we have to manipulate this snapping tool, multiplying this value, this minimum value, by the whole level. The same approach that we used here for the linear curves. So we can use a duplication of this multiply, use the whole level by 0 0.05 and use these as the snapping value here and the snapping value here. And now you have the correct result. So I can set this here, set this, make better the graph and this is the result. Now if I increase the height of this net, we have a correct result. So these are these and we can decrease the whole and you have the correct result. Click here to have the material preview. This is our final wire result. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to watch next videos of this series. If you want to leave a comment or check a like, I remember you that for each video of this series, you'll be able to make the geometry notes system on your own following this tutorial or download the project from my Gumroad page, link in description. And at the end of this series, I'll add an additional link to let you download the entire bundle of this project always on my Gumroad page. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to check the bell icon to get notifications about new posted videos. See you soon in the Type 4. Bye!